Colorado Representative Lauren Boebert has been deleting some of her Twitter followers. This is the exact same issue in the case against President Trump in 2019. The court ruled that he used Twitter for official government purposes so he could not block followers as it violated the First Amendment. Our Nine News legal analyst and Metro State University professor Whitney Trailer joins us now to chat about this. Good morning, Whitney. Good morning, Corey. Happy Friday to everyone. Yes, happy Friday. So what are the chances that Boebert will be sued for possible First Amendment violations? Well, it's hard to say whether or not she'll be sued. I can't get into somebody else's uh, mind in terms of whether they will sue her, but I can speak to uh, the parameters of the lawsuit and what I think the, the chances would be if she was sued. And essentially what happened is that Representative uh, Boebert blocked uh, some of her critics, including former state representative Bree Buentello. And that was, as you said, Corey, the exact same thing that President Trump had done a couple of years back, which he was sued for. And that went to trial and the court said, no, you can't, as a government actor, you can't restrict these users. And the, the courts reasoned that because President Trump was using his Twitter as official government communication, announcing terminations, announcing policy, whatever, that he could not block users. So here, the issue is if uh, Representative Buentello, former Representative Buentello or others sue uh, Lauren Boebert, because she blocked them, the question will be, was uh, Representative Boebert using her Twitter account as official government uh, communication? And if you look, because I believe she has two, both her official uh, Twitter account and then a, a private one, mm -hmm. and it sounds like on both of them that she's uh, tweeting uh, information about the government and about official government purposes. So if she is sued for blocking people, I think that, yes, uh, she will be found to be violating First Amendment rights because she's using that as government uh, communications. So you were talking about she has two Twitter profiles. One may be, uh, you know, the political one and one is a private one. If it was private, is that OK? That's a great point. And if it was private, then, yes, I think she would have uh, that protection. That wouldn't be a First Amendment violation because if she blocked somebody from following her privately, uh, she's not preventing people from having, you know, public discord and being able to disagree. Now, if on her private account there's a, a substantial amount of official government communication or communications about government uh, happenings, then yes, that would probably be a violation. And from what I've reviewed on the accounts, it appears that it is government uh, communications. So I think that that would be deemed to be First Amendment protected and would prevent uh, Lauren Boebert from blocking Twitter followers. And we've discussed um, this issue recently with Twitter and Facebook banning President Trump. A lot of people are saying social media is censoring conservative voices and viewpoints. What's your take on that? I understand that argument, especially now, because folks are saying, look, President Trump been uh, precluded from all social media. Uh, Parler has been kicked off of Apple and, and some of these other apps. But the reality is, again, these are private companies. So Twitter and Apple and all these things, they're not governed by the First Amendment. So they have a right to uh, kick off people who are not complying with their uh, regulations. Now, they also argued that because there was an incitement of violence, especially on the part of the president, that they were able to um, restrict him because it violated their policies. So I don't know necessarily that there's uh, a push to, to silence conservative voices. I think that these issues have just come to the surface, in particularly in the last couple of weeks, but even in the last couple of years with President Trump. And so it appears that the companies are both complying with their own policies and they're being transparent in terms of uh, who they've removed and why. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's pretty versed on the First Amendment these days. Whitney Trailer, as always, really appreciate you joining us. Good to be here.